Welcome to the League of Legends Champion Spotlight, featuring Scion, the undead juggernaut. Death had its chance. A former Noxian general, Scion was resurrected after his death and now serves as an undead behemoth. A slow and lumbering war machine, Scion only remembers his old self in the heat of battle and fights on in a desperate attempt to keep his past memories from slipping away. In game, Scion is a stubborn and tanky colossus with powerful area of effect crowd control abilities that help him excel in solo lanes and the jungle. Scion's passive is Glory in Death. Whenever Scion dies, he turns berserk, dropping his axe and gaining huge attack speed, damage, and lifesteal. Although Scion revives with full health, it drains as he bleeds out and drains faster the longer he's alive. Scion's rage makes him stagger, so he moves slower and his abilities are temporarily replaced by Death Surge, which gives him a short burst of movement speed. Glory in Death has no cooldown, so Scion berserks no matter how often he falls in battle. Don't stop fighting when you die. Each of Scion's attacks deal a percent of his target's max health, so you can avenge yourself even after your glorious death. Next is Scion's Q, Decimating Smash. Scion plants himself in position and begins channeling, drawing his axe back to swing it into a fixed but extending cone before him, damaging and knocking up enemies it hits. Decimating Smash deals increasing damage the longer it's charged, but more importantly, only knocks up once it's at least half charged. Attack before his weapon flashes, and Scion slows whomever he hits instead. Since Decimating Smash is a channeled ability, it can be interrupted by enemy crowd control, which completely nullifies the attack, but partially refunds his cooldown so he can try again. Use Decimating Smash to follow up on allied crowd control, your target won't be able to sidestep your attack when they're already stunned. Scion's W is Soul Furnace, which has a passive and active component. Passively, it gives Scion a permanent health bonus each time he kills an enemy, and more when he takes down large neutral monsters, siege minions, and champions. Activating Soul Furnace generates a shield around the big guy that soaks up incoming damage. After a few seconds, Scion can detonate the shield to damage all nearby enemies. There are a couple of important points here. First, if the shield's broken, Scion cannot detonate it. Second, Soul Furnace can be activated and detonated while casting any of his other abilities. Use Soul Furnace to zone your opponents away from your minions. The shield can suck up a decent amount of damage, and the explosion stings even at early ranks. Scion's E is Roar of the Slayer. Upon activation, Scion bellows in a target direction, damaging, slowing, and shredding the armor of the first target struck. Scion's roar is so powerful that if he roars at a minion or monster, he sends his victim flying back even farther than the ability's initial cast range. It turns into a little missile as it flies along its path, dealing increased damage and applying a heavier slow to everything it strikes. Except for walls. Minions can't go through walls. Use Roar of the Slayer to poke your opponents from range. It's especially useful for helping your allies land follow-up abilities. Scion's ultimate is Unstoppable Onslaught. Once started, Scion begins charging in a target direction, gradually speeding up as he moves. If he collides with an enemy champion or terrain, he slams the ground, damaging and knocking up enemies immediately around him, while only slowing enemies farther away. Unstoppable Onslaught has an incredibly long range, and though you can't precisely steer Scion as he charges, he does his best to follow your cursor. While charging, Scion knocks his side minions and shrugs off any attempts to slow or stop him. If Scion reaches the end of his charge or reactivates the ability early, he'll slam the ground, offering the same damage, knockup, and slow as if he hit a champion. Finally, subtlety is not really Scion's forte. Everyone knows whenever he ults, thanks to the sound of him charging, which all players can hear. Use Unstoppable Onslaught to initiate teamfights. With good timing and positioning, Scion can demolish the enemy team with his charge. Though Scion's abilities are powerful in their own right, they're absolutely brutal when used together. Here are a couple of combos to help you power your way through the ranks. 
Whenever you're going into trade, start by slowing your target with E, activating your shield as you get in position to charge up Decimating Smash. You should have time to get the windup at least half charge before they're out of range. At this point, Soul Furnace should be ready to detonate as you close in for more attacks. This is Scion's bread and butter combo for dueling. If you have all your abilities up, you should probably cast them in this order. Here's a combo for initiating teamfights on groups of enemies. Start with your ultimate, activating Soul Furnace as you start ramping up your speed. Immediately after you crash into the enemy team, you'll knock them up briefly, giving you time to charge your Q as you detonate your shield. Finally, save E to slow any escaping cowards for the killing blow. Scion is a lane-pushing jerk. Q and W are your primary abilities for quickly clearing minion waves and conveniently trading with your opponent in the process. Use the laning phase to form up health from Soul Furnace's passive to scale better into the late game. When jungling, start each camp with a fully charged Q, activating Soul Furnace simultaneously. Make sure to reactivate Soul Furnace just before the shield breaks to damage the whole camp and take as little damage as possible. While most of Scion's gank power comes from his ultimate, early ganks can work if you have good timing. Spotting Vel'Koz and Kog'Ma near his bot turret, Scion uses Decimating Smash's broad cone to land a slow on both fleeing targets before slowing Vel'Koz again with Roar of the Slayer. Ultimately, Scion's repeated slows help his bot lane buddies catch up to and butcher the Void enemies. Unstoppable Onslaught speed and distance mean that Scion's post-6 ganks are most effective coming through the lane. When planning a gank, make sure your ally is ready to engage before you charge in. Here, Scion and Malphite team up for a nearly unstoppable gank to give Vagar the good old gray screen. Sayonara, Vagar! On the other hand, if Scion reveals himself too early, it could be a grave mistake. Opponents who are quick on the draw can easily sidestep him. While Decimating Smash is a hard-hitting knockup on a low cooldown, it's difficult to land a full channel. It's better to reliably hit your enemies for some damage and a slow, then channel too long and let them flash, dash, or just walk right out of range. Scion's especially greedy here and misses every single Q as a result. Even though it can go halfway across the map, Unstoppable Onslaught is a great initiation tool even at close range. After engaging, Scion's goal is to disrupt the high damage squishies with his Q and stay alive with Soul Furnace. Note that the confined area of the jungle makes a perfect battleground for Scion's AoE abilities. Late game, Scion's tanky build combined with Soul Furnace's passive health gain means that hitting him is a wasted effort. Despite not building much damage, Scion's wealth of crowd control and low cooldowns bring a lot of value to extended fights. When your ultimate is down, E is your best way to set up your targets. The slow is long enough that you should be able to follow up with a channel decimating smash to ruin their day. Thanks for tuning in to the Scion Champion Spotlight. Please subscribe to the Riot Games YouTube channel and leave us your comments just below the video.